So the Vikings have only one win in its past six games and entering the final week of the NFL season, questions still remain who will be the starting quarterback. It was rookie Jaron Hall who got the start last night against the Packers, but after an unproductive first half with one interception and only five completions, Nick Mullins took over in the second half. Mullins helped the offense get going, completing 13 passes for 113 yards with a passing touchdown in the fourth quarter. But at that point, it was too late. Here's head coach Kevin O'Connell's reflection on the game. Yeah, just, um, you know, there was you know, some things execution-wise, some things progression-wise, just, you know, some play calls here and there uh, that we just had to get everybody, you know, give ourselves a chance, especially with where the, with where the score was at half, um, just to make sure we got premier, um, you know, just premier execution and at least the process. I thought Jaron had a good week of preparation. Um, there were some early plays in the game where maybe uh, you know things were happening uh, pretty quick and progressions and things like that. But um, like I said, this this isn't about Jaron tonight. This isn't about any one particular aspect of our team. Ultimately, I've got to be better for our group. And uh, you know, I did think Nick, especially with where the score was at, uh, trusting in his preparation, like him and I had talked about all week long. Um, when called upon, Nick to go in and help our offense move the ball and try to see if we can scratch and claw back into the game. When asked who would be the starting quarterback next week, O'Connell said that the decision would be made later in this week. Here's Jaron's Hall reflection on his performance last night. Uh, yeah, I, I just couldn't get into a rhythm. You know, couldn't, couldn't, you know, spit the ball around the field consistently. Um, just, just didn't have a good feel on it. I don't know why that was, you know, but uh, watch the tape and hope we find an answer for myself. Following last night's loss, the Vikings have no chance at making the playoffs. The team close out the season against the Lions in Detroit next Sunday afternoon. In the New Year's Day bowl games, Tennessee woke up feeling the cheesiest. They beat Iowa 35-0 in the Cheez-It Citrus Bowl. LSU beats Wisconsin by four in the ReliaQuest Bowl. Oregon hands Liberty its first loss of the season in the Fiesta Bowl. The Rose Bowl is currently underway and Michigan leads in that. The other semifinal, the Sugar Bowl, kicks off at 7.45 this evening as the Big 12 champions Texas take on Pac-12 champions Washington with the place in the college football championships on the line. Thanks.